after 6 p.m., there used to be a shutdown. People never used to go out because of fear of animals. It's really important to understand that currently the way that energy is distributed around the world is unjust. We still have about 675 million people that have no access to electricity at all. When you talk about energy access, energy equity, energy justice, you have to talk about the amount of energy people use. Access to energy is essential in achieving these sustainability goals as it drives economic development, as well as has a real multiplier effect to the individual or the community in terms of livelihood, health, education, security, empowerment of women, while also mitigating climate change. If you want good education, you want electricity. If you want irrigation for agriculture, you want electricity. If you want good healthcare facilities, you want electricity. So having access to electricity means first they are connected. They are part of an ecosystem. They, they, they can now look at forms of digitalization. We've seen with a lot of farmers that this has improved yield on crops. We've seen that women, and unfortunately it's women than children that get affected, that have clean cooking solutions, get back five hours of their day. Not having access to healthcare centres, especially on the continent where only 25% of healthcare centres are actually electrified, that means people die. So this is a really important frontline topic that we have to make an emergency. We're all experiencing the rapid pace of change brought on by new technology. It can seem overwhelming, but imagine if you didn't even have access to electricity. That's the reality for 675 million people around the globe, with knock-on impacts to society, education, employment, and economies. We have the means to solve this problem through electrification and provide clean and reliable energy to communities, equipping them with the knowledge, training, and skills needed to address these issues and bring development at a local level while contributing to global sustainable change. Corporate social responsibility has been part of the DNA. And in light with this, in 2009, we launched uh, what we call as the Access to Energy program, which has three pillars. The first one is about how we are able to bring access to energy to the people who still would need that. The second one is uh, how we are able to bring a training uh, and entrepreneurship program which is able to ensure that this business remains sustainable in the communities uh, that it is developed. And the third one is investing in impact funds where we will partner with the rest of companies and scale it up uh, using other technologies and other people uh, in the space. We are running more than 45 skill development centers in the field of electrical and renewable energy with them. All of these skill development centers are used to train villagers to come and learn renewable energy, solar, and go back to their village and install their own systems. One example of an isolated village undergoing a complete transformation through electrification is Pandri in North India. Pandri is a forest village. Because of the Forest Protection Acts, we are not allowed to have poles and electrical wires there. Before electricity, they didn't know what irrigation is. They didn't know what education is after sunset. So Vilay microgrids have been developed for remote locations where bringing cables is very complicated. Solar uh, power uh, combined with uh, battery storage is what is able to bring clean power to those local communities. I see a light not in their homes, but in their hearts and in their eyes also. Because of electricity, children could study in the night. People could roam out freely without the threat of animals in the night. And if we can give good facilities for youth to undertake entrepreneurship activities in the village, there will be overall empowerment of the village. Providing access to energy goes far beyond just offering light and power. It opens up a completely new future for entire communities. There are a lot of new types of jobs that are created, especially having such a young population. 
There's a lot of AI and IT that it's going to happen with a lot of renewable integration. There's going to be jobs that we didn't even know exist. Once this is done, nations can unlock their economic potential, uh, foster uh, sustainable development, as well as create more prosperous future uh, for the citizens. The most important thing is to know that all the technologies we need already exist. I think the opportunity of clean energy, especially clean energy merged with tech, is going to be revolutionary.